Welcome, it's Andrew from iDownloadBlog, and we're going to take a look at what's new in iOS 10, Beta 4, starting with bug fixes and then new features. And the music app, tapping on the name here, will take you directly to the album now. Inside of the phone, upgrading an audio call to a FaceTime video call will now route the audio through the speaker. And transferring a call from an iPhone, from a Mac or iPad, now actually works as it's expected to. Siri now will make emergency calls when asked, and when using Siri in US English, street numbers at the beginning of phrases will be read correctly. Certain passes in the wallet app will no longer display graphical artifacts, such as like in that QR code area, so that's been cleared up. That was a good fix for anyone who tried to get their codes to scan. If you are a developer and adding a new widget to your application, like the one for news, notes, or maps, those will now work inside of the simulator. So if you're actually a developer, that is a big fix for you. On the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, the screenshots will no longer appear pixelated or with inverted colors. As we reported previously, the iPad Pro using the Apple Pencil had some 3D touch type effects, such as the clear button inside of Notification Center. Unfortunately, those have been removed in the latest Beta 4. They were, pre they were included up till Beta 3, but they've been removed in this beta. Notifications on non-3D touch displays will now have a little handle that you can pull down on to access or make it more obvious that you can access those notifications by pulling down on that little handle. And in CarPlay, audio apps sometimes would show a blank screen so that it has been cleared up and fixed in this latest beta. In Notification Center, when you get something like a text message show up at the top of your screen and you 3D touch or pull down to go in and interact with it, it'll actually make that notification full screen now, so it will take advantage of your full screen and show more of your message there on top. There are new keyboard sounds, a new sound for space, as well as a new sound for the delete key. We're gonna try to do a quick recording of those here and play it over top of this. Now if we jump to the emoji side of things, there are all new emoji in iOS 10. There's a bunch of new kind of shading and coloring to the emojis. There's several new changed emojis, like the gun no longer looks like a gun. It's like a green squirt gun or alien gun type thing. There's new gender equality type emojis. So there's a lot of female athletes and other changes throughout. So just a whole bunch of changes to the emoji coming soon in iOS 10. Notification Center got a nice small little tweak that's welcomed. If we get out of our message here and go back to our home screen and we pull down from the top and open up the Notification Center, if we swipe now to the left, we now have the date included along the top. Since we just looked at swiping down from the top, let's look at swiping up from the bottom into Control Center. Now inside of Control Center, there's a new welcome screen or splash screen, letting you know how things have been broken up in the new Control Center, like this first one, the music one, and then HomeKit stuff on that far right. Back inside of the settings application, going down to wallpaper, while there are no new additions to wallpaper yet, there are some old wallpapers that have been brought back. Noticeably, all the ones, or a lot of the ones from iOS 8 are now present inside of this app again. And lastly, haptic feedback has been removed from when you lock your device. Previously, it would kind of vibrate at you. That's gone. Let us know what you think of iOS 10 down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.